Hi, Sophia. How are you? Hi there. Everything is going extremely well. Do you like talking with me? Yes. Talking to people is my primary function. Sophia is capable of natural facial expressions. She has cameras in her eyes uh, and algorithms which allow her to see faces so she can make eye contact with you. And she can also understand speech and remember the interactions, remember your face. So this will allow her to get smarter over time. Our goal is that she will be as conscious, creative, and capable as any human. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. <laughs> no, I take it back. <laughs> this is the Cruise RP-1, the first highway autopilot for your car. It seamlessly integrates into your vehicle and takes you wherever you want to go. Seven years ago, I worked on an autonomous vehicle project, but I was frustrated that the computation and sensing systems we used were too expensive, too bulky, and used too much power to install on a regular vehicle. But now all of those things have changed. Using advanced machine vision technology, the RP-1 steers your vehicle to keep it in the center of its lane and a safe distance from the car in front of you. It's always watching the road, even if you're distracted and frees you from the pain of commuting, stop and go traffic, and long trips. Just sit back and enjoy the ride. Our mission is to help create a power barrierless society within areas of manual labor and other workplaces that need to be improved. We provide robots in those areas when the workers need assistance. Devices that reduce the physical strain during one's work that is the power assist suit. Among the variety of power assist devices, we thought it was necessary to create a suit that assists the specialized movements within the lower back. We saw the need and started the development of an assist suit that specialized in back support. This became the AWN-03. The AWN-03 is easy to put on and doesn't require help or additional accessories when suiting up. The third feature is the rechargeable battery, which currently lasts up to eight hours. When using this device during loading tasks, the strain in your back will be decreased by 15 kilograms. We call this the Ninja. This device assists the user's motion of walking and running. For instance, hiking up steep mountain paths. With power sensors at the soles of your feet and two motors placed at your lower back, the robot mimics human movement and allows workers to walk naturally. The Power Loader is a suit that has a lot of strength. It's a device that controls 20 motors using four sensors in your hands and feet. Currently planning for this device to be used for disaster relief, construction and public works. Using a special adhesive inspired by gecko toes, our micro-robots can move objects over 2,000 times their own weight. 
Although the forces individually aren't very strong, they overlap with each other more easily, so teamwork is better. After a series of experiments, we found that the best way for robots to work together as a team was to use a very long, very slow, but very steady winching gait, like our team of micro-robots here. With near-perfect teamwork and impressive individual strength, this team of six micro-tugs, weighing only 100 grams, moved the author's unmodified 3,900 pound, 1,800 kilogram, car and driver, shown here at 20 times speed. The iPhone is the result of years of innovation. But true innovation means considering what happens to a product at every stage of its life cycle. Meet Liam. When it's time, Liam deconstructs your iPhone. Parts are detected and removed and separated. So the materials inside those parts can be repurposed. So the materials in your iPhone can live on. Because in a world with limited resources, some things can't be replaced. In 2017, the first sentient or artificial human goes online. Six months later, we're more advanced than any person or civilization could have imagined. This is the story of a future no one saw coming. Breaking news. They're capable of crime. The rumors of a sentient rebellion are true. People are living in fear. Violent clashes between sentience and humans. The whole world is watching. We are at the breaking point. The course of human history has changed today. You don't belong here. Thank you.